Are you into high-res music streaming? Do amazingly well-made servers controlled by a killer app pique your interest? Welcome to our two-part introduction to Orander streaming music servers. Before we get started, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our latest audiophile news and reviews. We at Moon Audio really love Orander servers for their unparalleled sound, unique features, and user friendliness. Orander manages all of your music, both your personal files and content from streaming services, and centralizes it into one cohesive library that's controlled by a really well thought out and killer app that's easy to use. Like Apple, Orander is a closed ecosystem in that Orander products only work with each other, and then they can be linked to one network. Oranders come in many flavors and functionalities and price points, ranging from about $2,700 all the way up to $22,000. You need to think about what features and functionality you desire, what digital outputs you need, and how your Oranger will fit into your current audio setup, which may or may not include other Oranger products. So if you're looking for a straight up music server, you've got options. The N10, the N20, the W20SE, and the N100 series. Now we really like the N100 series. Those three models are a great value. They will replace your aging computer audio system and elevate your system's sound quality. Any N100 model will complement your existing system components. Music can be stored on the internal hard drive with a 120 gigabyte solid state or SSD caching drive performing all file playback for superior fidelity and reliability. The N100C and the N100SC have coax out for connecting to older generation DACs that don't have a USB input. For the streaming enthusiast who doesn't need a hard drive, the N100SC has optional storage. Now, if you're looking for a server with a built-in CD ripper, there's the ACS-10 and the ACS-100. These models will work directly with the NIMBY CD ripper, available for rent from Moon Audio. With these Oranders, you will use a separate app for ripping in addition to the Orander Conductor app for controlling your music library. The ACS-10 can work as a sort of network hub and server and CD ripper, and then other Orander units throughout your home can use and play the music stored on the ACS-10. It can also be used as a music player and streamer by itself. It's got huge internal storage capacity and a lot of bells and whistles. The ACS-100 is a great option for people who already own an Oranger, but they need a CD ripper. It's basically a budget version of the ACS-10, and it doesn't include internal storage. Now, for the Orangers that don't have built-in CD rippers, you can rent the NIMBY, plug it into your computer, and do all the ripping at your computer with a program like JRiver or MediaMonkey, and then you can just copy the files over to your Oranger server. Now, most Oranders do come with internal storage. However, with high-res music streaming gaining popularity as the predominant source of music among some audiophiles, the need for HDD storage is diminished. Thus, Orander has developed a solution that satisfies both the file collector and the streaming enthusiast, optional storage. The N100SC, the ACS100, and the N20 feature user-installable storage via a rear panel drawer that can accommodate an HDD or an SSD drive. Now, drives aren't cheap. Well, SSD drives aren't, but it does give you some flexibility as well as unlimited storage potential. You could create one drive per music genre and swap them out as desired. Now, for a server with a built-in DAC, you've got the A10 and the A100. The A100 is the more cost-effective option with two terabytes of storage and RCA analog outputs. The A10 comes with four terabytes of internal storage as well as balanced and unbalanced analog outputs. These are both perfect one-box solutions for people replacing high-end CD players. Finally, there is the granddaddy, the A30 caching music server, streamer, CD ripper, HDD storage, DAC, and balanced headphone amp to boot. We call it the kitchen sink model. Now, this isn't a server that does many things just okay. It excels at all of them. You get eight terabytes of internal storage, XLR and RCA analog outputs, and everything you need to create, store, manage, edit, and play high resolution file content in one compact solution. Now, when it comes to managing your music library with Orender, there's an app for that. 
We think that Orinder has really hit a home run with its conductor app. In fact, Orinder is one of the few hardware companies that have done a great job of providing a well thought out and powerful app for controlling your music library. Available for iOS and Android, Conductor provides integrated access to Tidal, Cobas, Spotify Connect, and Shoutcast Internet Radio. Conductor incorporates the whole experience of browsing for and discovering new music and ensures easy access and swift browsing of your file-based or streaming music. The interface is refreshingly free of complexity and visual clutter. There is also a Conductor Lite version available for iPhone. Conductor delivers high-res music from your own internally stored music library or from a subscription streaming service. You can save recordings that you discover while streaming, and you can easily create playlists. And when you create a playlist, it will look like everything is coming from one integrated library. And it's easy to add, edit, and remove content from your library. Check out Oranger.com for some great tutorials for running the Conductor app on both iOS and Android. Stay tuned for our next video, where we'll take a deeper dive into what makes Oranger unique. For even more information about Oranger, check out our complete guide, which we'll link to. And if you have any questions, leave us a comment. And if you don't want to miss any of our latest and greatest audiophile news, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.